Main article. Mandalorian Jedi War. I know that these commandos fought in many wars, often against the Jedi. Obi-Wan Kenobi The Mandalorian Crusaders expansion eventually brought them into conflict with the Jedi Order and the Republic they protected. According to ancient songs, Mandalore the Great, who held the title of Mandalore, was involved in the conflict. Their first confrontations with the Jedi Knights took the Mandalorians by surprise. The use of the Force and the powers it granted them was a challenge that they had never seen before. However, the prideful nature of the Mandalorians would not allow that disadvantage to stand, and they began to devise ways to overcome the powers of the enigmatic Jedi. The result was a major advancement in the development of Mandalorian technology, specifically their arsenal and their infamous armor. They also developed a fighting style that combined their entire arsenal and skills to allow them to counteract the Jedi's supernatural abilities. With these new technologies, the Mandalorians began to win their share of conflicts with the Jedi, and their warriors earned the reputation of being capable of confronting and defeating Jedi Knights. The generation's long conflict ensured an enmity that lasted for several wars and was remembered by the wider galaxy even millennia later during the Clone Wars. These clashes between the Mandalorians and the Jedi Order became immortalized through cubist murals displayed in Mandalore's capital city of Sundari and on the moon Concordia. Despite their near-continuous conflicts, the Mandalorians and the Jedi were not always in conflict. The most prominent example of this was when the Mandalorian-born Tar Vishla, founder of the powerful House Vishla, was inducted into the Jedi Order as a child. True to his Mandalorian nature, Vishla distinguished himself from his Jedi peers by creating a unique lightsaber, the Darksaber. At some point in his life, Tar Vishla became the Mandalore, the sole ruler of Mandalore and a revered figure among his people. Following his death, the Jedi recovered the Darksaber and returned it to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Mandalorians later honored Vishla by building a large statue of him on Mandalore to cement his legacy. During the last centuries of the Old Republic, the Mandalorians struck at the very heart of their enemy's power. Members of House Vishla infiltrated the Jedi Temple on Coruscant and stole Tar Vishla's Darksaber. They used the saber to conquer the entirety of Mandalore, and united the diverse houses and clans throughout their territory.